Hey there, roller skaters. Today we're at the skate park, and this is going to be um, a continuation of previous videos, um, how to do a, a backside stall and how to do a fakie stall. I'll, I'll put the links to the videos we made about that in the description. But this is how to do a 180 back into the mini ramp off of a backside or off of a fakie stall. Um, so I'll show what I would kind of consider step one is being really comfortable in the stalls, like to where you can kind of hang out or stay in the stall uh, a little longer. So I'm gonna go, when I do my backside, I'm turning to the left. So if you're turning the other way, of course, you'll reverse it to turn whichever way you prefer. I'm gonna go over there and backside and try to like stay on it. See that? Uh -huh. so I'm gonna try I see. to stay, just kind of squat down, stay. Same thing with the fakie. When I go to fakie stall, I'm going to try to sit on it a bit, kind of like bend your knees, drop your butt, and stay uh -huh. so that you feel that you can, in a controlled way, kind of push into your heels and sit. So once I feel really comfortable with that, I'm going to squat down. Whoop, I went too far. <laughs> I'm going to squat down. And again, as I mentioned, I turn to the left. If you turn to the right, of course, it's the other way around. But I'm squatting down, dropping my knees. I'm turning my head, shoulders, like I'm go, trying to go through a little door and then jumping into the ring. Ooh. All right, I'll try that again. Fancy. From fakey, stay. Oh, I didn't stay enough. If you don't stay enough, it won't work out. <laughs> Push into the heels, drop the butt. I went too far. Just try a to little. stay. Again, if you have to hang out there for a second, that's fine at first. Kind of get the feel. I'm turning head. You're really low, shoulders. too. Staying low, that way if I fall, it won't be as bad. <laughs> Bending knees and jumping. Nice. So you go head, shoulders, and then hips. I'm gonna try it off of a backside. Try that. Uh-oh. Backside, stay, drop, turn head, shoulders, looking, bend, drop. Ow. All right, here we go That's again. technical. Highly technical. As if, oh, see I went too far. As if you're sitting down, Again, Kevin gave me this analogy of thinking like there's a little door and like you're trying to crunch down and go through a little door. Although I can't do this trick yet. <laughs> but it's the idea. <laughs> so you're getting low, dropping, turning, jumping. Uh -huh. Same thing here. Oh, too far. Stay. No. Go. <laughs> and so forth. Now, if you get really comfortable with doing What this, now? Uh, you can change the direction. I think if you can... If you can do your backside and 180 in your natural direction, and you can fakie and 180 in your natural direction, then if you want to challenge it up a bit, try 180ing in your unnatural direction. Ooh. For me, it's to the right. So I'll try to show what I mean here. Let's see it. So 180 to the left, 180 to the right. Ah. Oh, super that's cool. A weird. <laughs> it looks definitely looks harder to do that way. I bet, huh? I totally want to turn left. So yeah. Turning to the left is natural, but then oh, stay, stay, stay. Drop, bend, turn right, and go in. It what totally is... feels very different to me. What but does... I think um, it seems like you have good flow. If you can do all these things, I'll try to show. It gives you more like potential with different kinds of tricks that can open up for you. You know. So. What's the benefit of sinking? Like you're talking about sinking in. Absorb. One eighty, fakey, absorb. One eighty, absorb. Again, backside up, too far. Absorb. Uh -huh. So it kind of backside. locks you on more. Lock on. Turn the other direction. Mm -hmm. All right. So it kind of gives you, if you can do these different things, it gives you more options of how you move from one side of the ramp to the other. <laughs> and um, it makes it fun. I, it looks fun. It is fun, like I, I'm a lot of, <laughs> but it is like really that, like your body is compressing down, gives you the power out of your legs and makes you more stable. Because if we stand up really gotcha. straight, we try to jump in, it probably won't go well. You know, True. you could fall over and you know hurt yourself or something. But when we compress down, we get way more, um, well, smaller, more compact 
and more like toward that cannonball position, which is much more stable and it, it lends itself better to that turning anyway, like mm -hmm. corkscrewing. So hopefully that's useful. Um, if you guys have um, suggestions of other things you want to see or questions or anything, please let us know. And please like and comment, subscribe. Thanks.